So I've had this Asus Spin 311 Chromebook for nearly a year now, and I have to say it's still my go-to Chromebook most of the time. So I thought I'd make you this quick update video to show you why. So let's start by giving you a quick overview of the model. It's an 11.6 inch form factor, fully convertible. On the left-hand side, you've got USB-C for charging and data. You've got a headphone jack and the power button. Uh, you've got the two hinges on the back, and I'll show you how it's fully convertible in just a minute. And then on the right-hand side, you've got a physical volume rocker and a full-size USB port and a Kensington lock port, if you have any use for that. As you can see, it's pretty thin. It is a full plastic body. Uh, it does look nice in this silver, and it is, as I say, particularly light, just 1,072 grams. That's about 2.36 pounds. Uh, the vents you can see on the bottom, they're not vents, they're for the speakers, so there are no fans in this, there are no vents that you're going to uh, hear, you're not going to experience particular heat from it. It comes with the MediaTek MT8183 processor, which I think is just the perfect balance for functionality, performance, uh, and long battery life. So, you know, I started the day with 50% on this the other day, about nine o'clock, um, by about 5 p.m. You know, it's getting to the point where it's about to run out with just gentle use, but yeah, no concerns there. Here's a bit of footage from my video you may have seen on how to install and play Roblox on your Google Chromebook. So again, it handles that with no problem. So any light gaming with games from the Google Play Store that are compatible with a Chromebook. Plus you've got the ability to install games via Linux as well. So you can see my video on how to install Minecraft on your Chromebook. Uh, just again, no problem with that MT8183 processor and the four gig of RAM on this. So as mentioned, it's small. Here it is against a sheet of A4 paper. Here it is against an average size backpack. And then it is also fully convertible. So you can move it around into this sort of tent mode. Uh, if you carry on around, you can put it into the full tablet mode and Chrome OS will move into the tablet uh, version of the OS. Uh, not as great as Android by any means, but it's usable and obviously it's a bit more chunky in this size. Uh, don't worry, the keyboard on the back will be disabled when you're holding it like this and no problem there. And then you've also got another mode you can put it in, a kind of halfway house, maybe for like watching a movie or something when you have it sat on the keyboard. So you've now got the speakers firing up and you can just be viewing the screen. So really flexible, really versatile, nice to have the options. So the keyboard and trackpad are really decent to use, especially on a Chromebook at this price point. You can see the keys have got a bit more depth to them, so it just depends what you're used to and what your preference is. I'll show you in a video now how it sounds to give you a bit of an idea. The touchscreen itself is nice and responsive. It's covered in Conan Gorilla Glass and it's got a max res of 1518 by 853. You do just have to accept those bezels. I got used to them pretty quickly, but consider if that could be an issue for you. You're also going to benefit from a long update life on this machine. It's going to receive updates to Chrome OS all the way through to June 2028. Do check this out on any Chromebook you're about to buy. It's called the Auto Update Expiry Date. You'll see it as AUE. Make sure you check that before you buy and buy at the right price. So if you look for this one at the moment, you'll have seen a tweet I dropped out the other day. You could buy it for just £183, brand new from AO.com on eBay. That's the equivalent of $247 US or about €213. Euros. So let me know what you think of this Chromebook in the comments down below. And if you are looking for an 11.6 inch convertible Chromebook, I highly recommend you check this next video out on the Lenovo Flex 3. Cheers.